I haven't done a video on UTM and Windows on Apple Silicon and ARM for a long time. And I had one of my users mention that they couldn't get the installation to work because they got basically this error. So this is the UTM GitHub project. And what happens is if you get, well, the video I have gets a preview release and Microsoft released um, the release version a few months ago. So you can get the release version directly from Microsoft. Um, the problem is if you get the current version of UTM and you try to install it, um, you can get this error uh, Let's see. Basically, you get a black screen, and it, it has this error. Uh, display driver is not active or something like that. At any rate, you can't run, and eventually you'll just get a black screen, and nothing will run. So there are various workarounds like this. And... Um, basically people fiddling around with the um, video card selected in the virtual machine. Uh, I tried like four or five of these and I couldn't get any of them to work. So, but the thing is these are talking about Linux and sometimes Windows. So uh, what I did was I went back to an earlier version of UTM and installed the release version of Windows 11 ARM second half 2024 and I had no problems at all. So uh, at some point, uh, UTM broke this. And if you can go back and find an older kit, you can install it and get it to work. Otherwise, uh, you can kind of try the workarounds. Um, oh, here's, here's the error. Display output is not active on Mac OS X for Ubuntu ARM64. This person is running Ubuntu. So you get this. And uh, you can see some people got it to work using this GPU. Uh, I wasn't. But anyway, if you wanted to get it running, uh, all I can say is use an older version. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where to get them, but I had an older version uh, lying on a, another machine. Um, at some point, I'm sure it will be fixed, and that's probably fairly soon because it seems like a fair number of people are running into this problem. Um, but kind of sorry that this thing doesn't work. There is a new feature called uh, TSO in um, the latest version of UTM, and what that means is it uses Apple Silicon um, hardware support to uh, speed up uh, the processing of uh, instructions for other architectures like x86. So I I'm curious if that uh, gets performance up to like VMware or even better than VMware. Uh, that would be really, really nice. I don't think that uh, QEMU, which is underneath UTM, um, is up to speed compared to VMware and parallels for video drivers, but I am completely willing to be impressed if they are, or, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the basically don't, <laughs> if you have something that's working, don't upgrade. Um, if you need something that works, you'll need to get an older kit, or you'll have to get one of these workarounds to work. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this. If, if at some point we do get a version that does work properly, then I'll do another video.